What's up, y'all? It's Boone back with y'all. Doug's ATV. Today we're putting a starter on a 2005 Chevrolet pickup. Yeah. 5.3 liter. You're going to need a 10 millimeter, a 13 millimeter, an 8 millimeter to disconnect the battery if you haven't done that already. And I'll let you know whenever I get to it. Look at all the rest of them for. Alright, with your 10 millimeter, you need to pull this little plastic cover off right here because it gets in the way of your bolts. Not not that one, but that one. It's kind of a pain. Get your little 10 millimeter. Little handy dandy electric ratchet if you got one. You get that plastic cover out your way. Then you take the 13 millimeter and you can pull your two starter bolts off. Break them loose first. If you're lucky, they'll just come right off of there, but not all the time. I feel kind of bad for it being a little bit loose, but this is another thing that will pull it down. So hopefully, no more guys. We are going to do much better. We have a couple of ideas for like mini games, maybe we're going to do some races and stuff as well. So it should be kind of interesting. We're going to have to guarantee it wasn't going to fall off of there. I don't think it's ever been changed. They turn miles and miles on that truck. <clears throat> it started, it wouldn't even click. <clears throat> it's Robert from jumping off my Murray. You think it would hurt that solenoid? I wouldn't think so. You're just using your battery. If anything, it hurt hurt your alternator probably. There's one of them. There's your other one. Ooh, that sucker's hot too. I got some little white cotton gloves in there if you want to play everything. That's alright. Now when you get a drop down there like that, you got an 8 millimeter to pull loose from the solenoid right there, and then a 13 millimeter to pull loose from the solenoid right there as well. Is there a 13 out there? Yeah, there's a 13. The 8 millimeters up there by the battery. Let's see, what did I do with 13? It's on the impact over here. Some spots you'll need a wrench. In this case, it's going to be best to get socket on there to get this 13 off. Oh, that starter is hot. Oh my best. That's fifty 
Holy shit, did you hit the bridge? It's 13 millimeter wire off of there. Now you can get your 8 millimeter. Get this little one off. It's a lot better to work on it whenever it's not hot. There's that one. There's your old starter. Get her nice and tightened up there. And you get to work it back up in there. Just like so. Get your bolts. Ooh. Don't let them take your eyeball out. Now I need to tighten these up right quick. Tighten them up. Don't get greedy with them neither. I know a guy that snapped the side of his block off before. Where that starter bolt goes. <clears throat> Alright. Let me get you a little plastic cover. With your little 10 millimeter bolt. Where's that ratchet right there? it up like that and y'all didn't see me take this part off but that's the solenoid cover you gotta slip that thing back on there goes up in there above the starter on top of the solenoid. Nice easy. Starter on the 05 Chevrolet. Now we can test it. Alright, hook the battery back up. Make sure your new starter works. Yeah, so we guys put the 
Just posted. 